Hi, I'm Alex. I'm an occupational therapist. And today we're going to be working with my client, Susie. Susie actually suffered a stroke uh, about a month ago, and she suffers from left-sided hemiparesis. And what we will be doing today is working with planning interventions using modalities. All right. Hi, Susie. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. Um, so for today's intervention, we're going to be using a modality called neuromuscular electrical stimulation, which if you've seen a TENS unit, it's a lot like that. But this is the device. I just want you to kind of look at it. The on and off button is right here, and we're going to be able to turn it up and down like this. Okay. So I'm going to place these pads, which are called electrodes. Now, you don't have any type of brain or pacemaker, brain simulator or pacemaker, or anything like that, electrical implants. Nope, none of that. Perfect. Okay, I did see in your chart you did not, so I just wanted to verify. Yes. And you don't have any swelling here, so that's mm -hmm. good. Um, another contradiction that we have with clients when we use this is making sure that they're not pregnant. But um, other than that, I'm going to turn it on and you're going to feel like a slight tingle. Okay. And when you start to feel it and it's not too uncomfortable, but strong, just let me know. Okay. okay. So it is going to come on right now. All right. I'm feeling it. Okay. Is that good right there? It feels a little good. Maybe a little more. Okay. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. All right, so this will only come on for a couple of seconds and it'll light up. When it does light up, you'll feel a contraction and that's just gonna kind of um, wake up the muscle and activate it. Okay. And we're gonna be using this later in our interventions today. Okay. So does that feel okay? Yeah. Can you feel that good. contraction? I do. Okay, perfect. What's that's what this, we wanna feel. What's this muscle? What is it doing? That's the biceps and that's the muscle that we're gonna mainly be activating today. All right. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And this is just to kind of um, help with your left-sided hemiparesis. Yes. All right. You ready for your interview? Okay, so I have your NMES device hooked up. What that's going to do is we're going to be able to activate the arm when we start our intervention. So I do remember that you mentioned that you like to plant flowers and garden. I do. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to have you grasp this spoon. There you go. Is that okay? Yes. I'm going to turn this on. And when this comes on, we're just going to get it at the proper voltage. And when it comes on, we're going to be able to flex and kind of move over to the flower pot. Okay. And I'll be here to assist you. Okay. So let me know when this is comfortable. All right. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So that green light is about to come on. There we go. Yes. Do you feel that Ooh. kind of muscle yeah. activation there? I do. I'm feeling it. Perfect. Oh, I love to garden. That's good. I've got that soil in a bowl for you because I know it's a little easier to get it out of the bowl than it is the bag. I'm making a little mess. It's okay. Oh, got to plant my flowers. <laughs> All right. So let's take a break. I'm going to cut this off for a second. Okay. Let's relax for a minute. Okay. And then we'll go into the next step. So a couple minutes have passed. We are going to then um, plant the sucker flowers. So let's turn it back on, get it to where it's supposed to be. All right. And when it's on and activating, I'm going to have you grab. And we're going to plant that in there, just like oh. that. Perfect. Which one's your favorite color? Oh, I love the orange. I like that one too. Okay. And we're just going to have one more scoop there. All right. To so finish it off. It. Yeah. Perfect. So you've demonstrated this very well. Let me turn this off for you and I'm going to unhook you. How was that? It was good. I, I enjoyed that. I like to garden. Okay. You did a phenomenal job. Um, so I can see us grading this up, which makes it harder, um, which we want to get you back to gardening outside. I know that's what you kind of want to do. So how we can do that is we can um, be outside in the elements. We can be using a, sh a shovel that's a little more heavier. Um, we don't, if we get to the point where we don't even need the NMES, that'll be perfect too. Um, but we do want that supervision to make sure you're safe. Uh, we'll use actual flowers out there and we'll be out in the elements for sure. Um, to grade it down, which to, means to make it easier, what I'll have you do is sit if you need to sit. Um, I already have the soil out here, but I could be um, already having it in the pot for you. And I can just further help you, um, assist you with that. Um, is there any other ideas that you have or anything that you wish you would like to do?
for the next intervention? Real flowers. You want to do real time. flowers? I know. Yeah. I'm going to get you some real flowers for the next time, yes. but I think you did great today. So if Thank we just you. keep practicing this with the NMES device, I feel like that's really going to be beneficial to you. Thank you. I loved it. So as the occupational therapist, I'm going to be the one that initially uh, assesses Suzanne um, and gives her that proper evaluation at the beginning. Um, then I will, by doing this, I'll ensure that when we perform the intervention that she's being safe. Um, if she needs to sit, if she's getting tired, that we need to take those breaks. Um, also need to make sure that she's actually comfortable with the intervention in the first place. Um, also teamwork, collaborative teamwork with the CODAs. I need to make sure that they're on the same page, that they can um, make sure that my documentation is uh, being read the right way. I need to be responsible for that. But I also, when they start to work with Suzanne, I need to make sure that they are also certified in PAMS like me. Um, and that's a state licensure that you have to receive in the state of Tennessee. So they have to be certified. I have to be certified. Um, and they must also be competent in performing the intervention and documentation. So that way that I can measure the progress and that the goals are being met to ensure all the outcomes that I have planned are being met.